Alright, boys and girls. So I got the unforged weapon recently, and I got quite quite the bad luck, the bad the slot to get. I can't get the poem, but it's actually this unforged. So right, I'm going to make a content. So in which pattern is better, is unforged or the mighty wood redstone? Let's jump to it. Now you shall perish. So but fuck. So first of all, in Unforced, the basic attack of group and the group group zone are both are the same and even the attack percentage are still the same so it looks nothing different but the passive is different so if Unforged, it will increase your shield strength by 20% and when you hit opponents, so it will increase attack by 4% for 8 seconds so in 5 steps, that means that it will like 20% so totally you will increase attack 20% for the, for the character so while your character has a shield and will protect by a shield then your attack will increase by 100% So on the increase by 100% is it like It's at another 100% is it? Is that so? I think this is by far my understanding So it looks like it's so high the damage can do But the rule is increase attack by 20% So if you equip this weapon, your attack is increased by 20% already And then we hit against an opponent that is less than 30% HP Then you can do a proc damage where Increase attacks by 40% so you can get a total 60% damage After you get a 30% HP less of enemy so you get 60% damage So, sounds like this will do way more damage than with Greystones Sounds like this So we're gonna, in this video, we're gonna try it out with Wolf Greystone at Eula So before that Eula, I gave her the 4 pieces of Pure Flame And my Beidou, I gave her this full set of emblem I might change it in future, it depends on what uh, it depends on what I'm what I'm going to build her later. Alright, so this clip is you know holding the unforced weapon. And in my opinion that she is doing quite well with this weapon, just you need to try to start out the stats, you know, like five stats in order to get your attack to reach 20%. So your attack will reach higher a bit. So if you apply zombie shoes or any shoot characters, then your attack will reach at like 120%. So it just a lot way more damage. So it's just a solid consistently this damage can keep on doing and you can not worry about anything else. But in this video it's a bit not accurate because zombie shoot also applies decreased physical resistance. And I'm using like bars electro and electric and this piece makes the superconduct so the physical resistance is like way so low and I'm not sure why it kinda of one shot but overall I think that this weapon is still good for the main DPS character but in order to make this weapon feel way more better you need a slot for a shoot character to put inside. Next about Wolf Crystal, Wolf Crystal in early time, in the first time you don't need to step up like the unforced to get a 5 stats you know, to get high damage It just a uh, 20% damage for you and you just play like that However, the peak between the unforced and Wolf Crystal is Wolf Crystal cannot reach as high as unforced Because unforced with shoot, unforced can do way more damage But with Wolf Crystal you, you need to wait until the enemy, the HP decreases to 30% and then you have to pop damage cap out So when the enemy is going low damage, then that's when that's where your damage suddenly goes so high And for you like me depends, if you will go to it's still good But if I unforce and I have a shoot character, good shoot character, I guess I will still give unforce to my Eula And with crystal is still a very good fire star weapon for Claymore user Next, we have Beidou using Unforce and Beidou using Unforce, in my opinion, that it just feels a bit weird and it's a bit hard because my Beidou is not built like main DPS so far and also my artifact is just like, any, any, any better burst so you need to start and it's just so weird that a support sub DPS curve that you can and you hit 5 times in order to trigger the passive the stats and you need a shield for Beidou and I'm not so sure I think right now, I need to do more testing that the spider should count as the shield thing And I think it just count because it just count for a while but the shield is not as strong as other shield characters So I think better is not really worth using Unforged unless you don't have other group, other weapons and you have Unforged then you can still use for Beidou But it's not that Unforged can use for Beidou, it's just that 
is a bit hard and you need certain combo to reach the stats. However, Beidou with full screen stone is feel way more better and way more easier to play and just came out and just spam your E and spam your LT and that's all you can do. And when the enemy boss get it lower, then you can bargain and you spend basically you can just like, kill enemy that easily. So that's it's just not that hard unfortunately just unfortunately you need to step up but with stone you don't need to step up, just came out, hit your skill and that's all. So we test her up with Beidou of which weapon is better for her. Hmm alright. In my opinion, if you plan to play Beidou as like more to a uh, sub DPS, then I suggest this weapon is way more better than this one. Uh, if you play if you, the character is your like, main DPS character and you have Zhongli and uh, some strong ship characters like Noel, Xinyan, Diona, then probably you can use this weapon for the main, main DPS as the ship increases a lot of damage and you can do a solid damage for the for your character. But with this, you need to reach enemy has to be below the thirty percent in order to trigger the passive. So that's one thing there. Main DPS like Eula, I think it's better with this weapon in my opinion. And of course, this one is looks more, looks more better. But for comparison, I really like this weapon more a bit because I can keep holding the buff twenty percent, and I can shoot twenty percent. So that's mean yeah, using shoot characters like Zonglish, my shoot will not be easily destroyed by any characters. So that that fast and we should okay, increase a lot of attack and increase like I think at the total we get 120% so I think that's quite high uh, and in this one you need to get um the enemy should be below the 30% then I get the extra 40% damage so I think for sub DPS character this wolf version is better than this one but for many people that you will stand alone with the shit like stand alone for so long time then I think this weapon might be better should be better because this weapon is not very really suitable for sub DPS whereas you just need to come out and pop the ESQ to the ulti I think this better to, to, the, to do the thing and this you can't do for sub DPS as you need to hit to get the stack first and then just get the get the E everything and in the same time, you need zombie also, so it just like you waste a lot of time, and you might sometimes enemy might disrupt your combo, so this is not a really good choice weapon for a sub DPS. All right, so overall, unfortunately, I think this weapon is not like a god tier level, but it's uh, it's still a good weapon, and if you get this weapon, you can still build it. Cause to be honest, this build this this weapon design is really cool. I like it so much, so. I'm gonna keep using this weapon in future. So I think that's all from this video about Unforged. Alright, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Alright, make sure you guys subscribe to my content as I try to make it a lot of video, a lot of guide videos and some puzzle videos and also some stream highlights if I have stream recently. So make sure you guys just subscribe and like and it just I really appreciate so much you guys subscribe because it's a it's a huge support for me. Okay. Thank you.